running and being out there on on your feet or on a bike, the feeling of the wind in the hair and the pushing myself and feeling like each time I'm going a little bit faster and it's feeling a little bit better. About a year and a half ago, I moved to LA um, from New York City and the cycling out in LA is amazing. So one day I went on just a standard morning training ride, headed out from my house at about 7 a.m. and I really just started my ride. I was probably 10 minutes into it and a woman was making a left-hand turn while I was going straight through an intersection and she just drove straight into me and T-boned me and um, I broke uh, three vertebrae in my neck, four in my back, in my thoracic spine, um, 11 of my 12 ribs, and was paralyzed from the chest down. I can't do what I used to love to do, but I look forward to finding new things that I'll love to do. I was introduced to hand cycling and wheelchair racing, really when I was racing as a runner, an able-bodied runner and pretty much as soon as I was paralyzed, I knew that was something I wanted Ladies to do. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Edie Perkins starting the race right now in her hand chair. Let's give her some encouragement. Ready? Ready. All right, set and go. It means a ton to me to be able to have the Naples Daily Half Marathon be my first race back. My accident happened eight months ago. I got out of the hospital four months ago, and I haven't really had that adrenaline, endorphin, inspiring activity, so it feels really good to get back out there. The accident changed my life in so many ways, obviously. I'm paralyzed from the chest down, so all of the, the things that I used to love to do, like run and bike and hike and just be really active, those activities are, are in the past, but I also see it as a chance to rethink my life and think about what's most meaningful. So many people have given me so much since my accident in terms of support and concern and care and I want to pay that forward and I'd love to inspire other people to be active and, and get on with their lives after a traumatic injury. Go Ethan! Woo